Welcome to Battery Creek. I'm your proud principal and I'm so excited to welcome you to the next four years of your life. Being in high school is an awesome time in your life. There's many opportunities here at Battery Creek and it is our desire that you get access to every program, every athletic program, every club that you desire to pursue. So we have lots of support in place to make sure that the next four years are the most beneficial for you so that you can have a successful future as an adult. Hello, I am Brian Rietveld. I am the ninth grade assistant principal and I am over technology. If you have any questions about your devices, I am your guy. Hope you guys join the Battery Creek family. Go Dolphins. Welcome to Battery Creek. My name is Gil Sanchez. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Battery Creek High School. I'm over the 11th grade and the lowercase alphabet on the 10th graders. Also, I'm in charge of buses and safety and security. Hello, my name is Katia Gilbert. I'm the 12th grade administrator here at Battery Creek High School. I serve as 12th grade, but I also work with testing. I want to send this reminder, what you do in ninth grade will have a strong impact on your success here at Battery Creek. Please make sure you take your courses seriously because it will affect how fast you get to 12th grade. Hi, my name is Sarah Hayes. I'm your athletic director here at Battery Creek High School. Welcome to the Creek. I'm also a Creek alum, so I am definitely a proud dolphin. Um, here at Battery Creek, we have 14 sports, varsity, JV sports that we offer. The biggest thing about high school is just getting involved, and athletics is definitely a great way to do that. We have coaches with wealth of knowledge. We have school spirit, so come on out, come play some sports, and have a great time. This is culinary arts at Battery Creek. We try to push the limits of your palate, um, try to train you in techniques that will get you college and also job ready. It's a really, really fun class. We do a lot of community events. One of our biggest ones is the YMCA. It's normally 25 to 3,000 people, and it's a lot of fun for the kids to be out there serving, uh, working in the community, and performing at that high-end level uh, that we strive for here at Batty Creek. So if you uh, want to be pushed a little bit, want to challenge your palate a little bit, and want to learn a little bit more about culinary, Battery Creek is the place for you. We have Health Science 1 all the way through 4, and we encompass all things healthcare, not just nursing. And so in Health Science 1, we hit on the basics, and we get all the way to 3 where we're doing patient care. Health Science 4, we do have an internship program where you get to go out and actually work in the field. I really enjoy this class because, say for instance, like it was an emergency, I can be able to help someone overcome like a problem or an injury. Throughout your time here with me, you're gonna get certified in all kinds of things, stop the bleed, basic life support through the American Heart Association, and many, many more. Students in this class, they'll learn how to stick weld, MIG weld, TIG weld, oxyfuel cut, you know how to use the plasma torch. Um, we also do a little bit of fabrication in here. We build barbecue grills, trailers, repair things for customers that come in that need things repaired. Um, when you leave out of here, you will have a OSHA 10 certification, and you'll also be AWS certified in the welding industry. This class basically sets you up and prepares you to be able to work in the welding industry when you leave this shop. So at Battery Creek, we have an agriculture program. We're under the Natural Resources Pathway. We start with Ag Science, the introductory course, move on to Environmental and Natural Resource Management, Wildlife Management, and then Forestry. With these courses, the students get to learn about the nature around us, learn what lives in their own backyard. This class shows you a lot about the ecosystem and the animals and the proper way to keep them and handle them. In the class, we're always handling animals always being taught how to keep our ecosystems safe and uh, prosperous for the next 100, 200 years. Media technology is videography, photography, graphic design. We work a lot with athletics, so you'll go out and shoot highlights. You'll cut and edit the highlights, putting them together. You'll create graphics for Instagram and social media, all kinds of stuff. And then we have, we're here in the studio where you guys will get to learn lighting, and you're gonna learn how to set up video cameras, take pictures, all, all kinds of different stuff inside the media technology world. So when you guys go out, you have the ability to put together portfolios and videos, photography portfolios, anything that you could possibly think of that's like social or media related, this is the class for you guys.
in the sports medicine classes, we focus a lot on the anatomy and injuries of athletes and then how to rehab them also. So in the pathway, we start with learning the basics and foundations of what an athletic trainer does and other careers within the sports medicine field. And then we take it all the way through common injuries, how to diagnose them, and then into rehab. And in the last class in the sports medicine pathway, the students actually get hands-on time working with Kim Dreamer, our athletic trainer, out on the fields with the athletes. In the future, I do want to become an athletic trainer. I take it to know how injuries work, how to fix them. Some of the other things that I teach as well is medical terminology, and that class specifically goes through all of the different body systems, and it teaches you different terms that you might hear. So it doesn't really matter whether you want to be an athletic trainer or a physical therapist or a surgeon or a nurse. Some of these classes can really help you across the board in whatever field you might want to go into in the healthcare field. This is the aerospace section here in the Cape building. We learn different aspects of aviation maintenance and engineering. Every class has six projects that they do. The first class, which the ninth graders will come into, uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to build an uh, airline seat, a pilot seat. And that first class, we're, you're going to be learning about the documentation for all the other classes down the line. As we go through the years, it's gonna get a little tougher and tougher as far as the math and the um, writing, and it's fun. So if you wanna know about aircraft maintenance, aircraft engineering, piloting, drone classes, then this is the class for you. After you go through it all, I teach Intro to Engineering, Computer Science Essentials, and Teacher Cadet. In engineering, we learn about the design process and how the students can take a problem and solve it by designing a product to help make a solution for some problem. We 3D print some of those objects as well. In Computer Science Essentials, we learn the basics of coding. We create programs, apps, and games with the code that they learn. In Teacher Cadet, students that may be interested in a career in education will learn about psychology, development, and strategies that teachers use to teach. They will also have a chance to go out and observe different ages of students and decide which age level they would like to do an intern with. And then, of course, they learn all things great about teachers. Our screen says too low. Our class is based on actually creating your own web design page. Uh, we go in there and we learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We put it all together and they actually find an interest of their own and they create the web page with pictures and colors and fonts and different things like that. I like web page design because it provides me with a plethora of information about coding and uh, different parts about creating a website of your own. And I explained to them that currently out in the workforce, coding is a very popular career and it's a very demanding career that they're looking for and it's um, something that they can go into and it's pretty much a high paying career that they can go forth into after they leave high school. The Leader in Me program is a new program that Battery Creek started about three years ago here and the aim for this program is to help students develop holistically, to shift their mindsets and start thinking about those skills that can really impact them in the future. I like the Leader in Me program because we not only learn life lessons but we build bonds with teachers and students. The goal of education has always been to prepare students for the next and through Leader in Me we're able to make that impact with our students by having meaningful relationships, building trust, helping them learn about responsibility and take initiative to have ownership in their future. Think about how this works. Our newest school choice option at Battery Creek High School is Cambridge International. This is a global program that meets the needs of all students regardless of ability levels or grade levels. It's actually a K-12 through program. We're implementing it at Battery Creek because we love the diversity of the course offerings as well as the fact that any student can take classes. Cambridge is an internationally recognized program where you can get college credit and it's all about what is important to the student. So applying the information. So a lot of us are already doing this in our classroom so it's really not that much different than what what we should already be doing, but it does include the student in the learning. So it's about taking certain content and actually applying that content to their lives. We do a lot of labs. We get to experience what biology is actually about. And it really, it's, it's a challenging course, 
but that's part of getting students ready for more life scenarios. And really get them to analyze why do I need to know this and what am I going to do with this information once I leave high school. And so that's what Cambridge is all about is taking those students to that next step and really analyzing the material and making it their own. So there are courses in all subject areas including electives. Students who take seven Cambridge courses and pass the exam successfully by the time they graduate will be eligible for an ACE Cambridge diploma. It's a great program to be in because we get to really improve ourselves in more aspects than just the course. So as you can see from this brief video, we have many options. So if you come to Battery Creek, there really is something for everyone, and we really do address the education of the whole student. And we are excited to give these opportunities to each and every one of our students, and we hope you become involved. Parents, if you have any additional questions about anything, please reach out.